Well, it's me again. I'm coming to the end of a, a rather long and grueling day. Um, had four different uh, injections of uh, chemotherapy. The last uh, was pretty interesting. I um, suddenly, in the middle of it, I got uh, a short breath, and uh, also I had. Um, uh, a, a real strong pain in my chest and then all of a sudden I started to shake uncontrollably and so those symptoms uh, caused the nurses to uh, shut down the chemo until they uh, could get me back to a place, of, a place of stasis and they did and so now I'm uh, one hour away from the completion of my first chemo therapy session that started at 8 o'clock this morning. So it's been a long day. Um, I continue to have deep gratitude in my heart for the way the Lord has sustained me and covered me in a blanket of peace. And I was just thinking about my favorite, uh, my favorite, uh, well, I don't know what you'd call it. It's a poetic, uh, it's something that I found many years ago. Uh, on a uh, a place map uh, back in Southern California, and I immediately memorized it, and I've used it uh, many times to encourage people, and it's now it's very encouraging to me. But it goes like this: It's called the Weaver. My life is but a weaving between my Lord and me. I do not choose the colors; He weaveth steadily. Oft times He weaveth sorrow. And I, in foolish pride, forget he sees the upper and I the underside. Not till the loom is silent and the shuttles cease to fly will God unfurl the canvas and explain the reason why the dark threads are as needful in the weaver's skillful hands as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern he has planned. Beautiful. Um, God is uh, creating a tapestry and sometimes we just see the underside of the tapestry and it doesn't look so good but God knows exactly what he is doing and uh, I've had a lot of time to pray today and uh, to think about friends like you uh, that are praying for me I get to pray for you sometimes it's in a very general sense in some case in a more specific sense, as I know uh, some of you personally. But uh, thanks so much for your prayers and concern. I'd hope to get into the Bible Answer Man broadcast and do a live broadcast today, but uh, because of the uh, reaction I had to the fourth uh, round of uh, chemo, or four different uh, cocktails, as it were, I wasn't able to do that, so we ran a tape show. Uh, but hopefully I'll be in the studio tomorrow fit and ready to go. Uh, so, uh, again, thank you for your prayers and for your concern. And uh, the best salutation to end this with is Christ is risen in your minds and in your hearts. I know you're saying Christ is risen indeed. So long for now.